How is it possible for you to make me love characters who I barely know? We're not even halfway through and we're already like dropping characters left and right. Oh, why would you do that? What do you mean he's dead? He's not dead. He is not dead and I know this for a fact. He's not dead. Shut up. Shouldn't this be public knowledge? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, what? <sighs> Hi, I'm Kat, and today's video is going to be a reading vlog for Illuminate. I just finished this, so I'm just filming this little clip to put at the beginning of the video, but I was really excited to read this, and it did not disappoint. So, if you don't know, this is a sci-fi novel and it's about two main characters but we have a lot of other people so we have caddy who is our main main character and she broke up with her boyfriend ezra and everything was going fine they were dealing with the breakup and then all hell breaks loose they live in a planet in a little tiny place and that place is attacked and invaded and then space war happens. There is this big company, Baytag, who is behind all the bad things that are happening. And so they are refugees and they are fleeing from Baytag's attack, pretty much. It's highly entertaining if you don't know. It's crazy action, crazy plot. You, although this is a huge book, it's 600 pages, you won't be able to put it down because there's always something happening at every turn. And also, if you don't know, it's a multimedia type of story. So you have documents, you have very different types of text to tell the story. So it's great. It is great pacing, great storytelling, great characters, everything. And I highly recommend it, obviously. I ended up giving it four stars 4.5 ish i enjoyed it so much and obviously i would tell you to read it because i want you to have fun as well but if you haven't read it already please be warned that from now on in the video there will be spoilers because those are the type of reading vlogs that i enjoy to watch the most the ones where people really talk about what is happening in the book and their honest reactions so be warned, spoilers ahead, but if you have read this book or you don't mind being spoiled, please keep on watching because I had a lot of fun and I would love to share that with you. So I know I look insane right now, so let's try to forget about that, but I just started reading Illuminate because I was really in the mood for it and I've been kind of, not in a reading slump because I've been reading, but I haven't been reading like a lot a lot and I've been in a weird mood for the types of books that I feel like reading I don't know it's it's odd but forgetting about that I decided to pick up Illuminate oh my god this is great I am just now in page 42 and I just want to say that is absolutely insane the talent of Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Like, how is it possible for you to make me love characters who I barely know? Like, I've been with these characters for 42 pages. It's not even like full on typical pages because it's not normal prose. You don't see the characters. Um, I don't know how, how you would see them normally, you know? It's not uh, description and dialogue and everything. Like, I will, I will show you pages, but most of you must know how this book looks. And the fact that just by transcripts and little bits of information and all of this stuff, the way it's organized, you get to know the characters. It's insane the way they do it. And everybody says so many great things about this story and i don't know why but the design of this book gave me the impression that it was a plot book more than a character book but i mean i'm in page 42 
And that's not the case. Like, I feel like I know these characters. I was not expecting this. So, already I'm sold. I think it can only get better from here. So, I'm in love. Okay, so I'm in page 128. Oh my god, I just have to say that the interactions between Ezra and James are hilarious. Oh my god, they have great banter. Like, I don't, I don't know, like, I'm guessing they only met here, like, after everything that happened in Ezra's planet, and, like, they met in this ship. I'm guessing at the Alexander. Great funny lines and it really breaks up the story nicely and I just, I love them dearly. Please don't kill James McNulty off, please. I mean, don't kill any of, any of them. Like, the main characters never die really, but don't kill James off because this is great. Okay, I just turned the page and Ezra is pretty much talking to himself. Where is Jimmy? Please, you're going to kill him and I'm going to be so sad. Like, why do you do this? I mean, here he was, just alive and well. And now this. Okay, so I'm going to get back to reading and continue with Illuminate, even though I am almost certain that Jimmy is going to die because, yes, I mean, you made that character for us to have some sort of connection and to have some sort of impact so it's only right and it makes sense that he would die but it's sad one thing i've noticed because i was searching yesterday obviously me being me searching for spoilers without meaning to sometimes but I didn't find a lot of fan art, which is weird because, I mean, I was guessing that this would be one of those series, even though, I mean, I don't know if we have more description of the characters later on in the book, because yes, I mean, it's easier if you have some sort of guideline to go by and this this book doesn't really give us that. We, we just figured out in page 128 when Ezra and Jimmy were talking that Caddy has pink hair. So that's a first. <laughs> if it was contemporary, it would probably be in the first 20 pages of the story. So I was surprised. I mean, maybe I'm not looking hard enough or in the right place, but I love looking at fan art i really really appreciate it so i went on pinterest and i found some great fan art there so i got a sense for what people are imagining the characters to look like i really enjoyed caddy's pink hair if you're reading illuminate and you also want to check it out pinterest is the place to go oh my god i i just i turned the page and look at it it's so i was not counting on this face mask, wash your hands, oh wow, I was not counting on this thing happening, this is too close to home, oh my god. I just, I just want to say that I've never read anything uh, written by Amy Kaufman before, I know she wrote These Broken Stars, if I'm not mistaken. The Starbound Trilogy, so I, I know she has other books published, but I've never read any of them. But I have read Jay Kristoff, and I know he loves to torture his readers. He loves to just give us love and take it away. So because I know that, I'm just... Everywhere I look, I know the main characters won't die because, I mean, at least we have that. But everywhere else I look, it's who's going to die? Where is this going? Don't get too attached because everybody could die. But I am loving this. This is the perfect read if you are in a reading slump or if you just enjoy something out of the ordinary. 
perfect read. We're not even halfway through and we're already like dropping characters left and right. Okay, so talk about being overexposed. <laughs> I'm sorry, but okay, we're going to find out what happened with Jimmy. Oh, why would you do that? <laughs> the fact that we barely know James or Jimmy. The fact that we spent, I don't know, maybe two or three conversations with him through Ezra, who we also don't know that well. But you mean to tell me that this tear right here, what, what in the world? I don't know, I trust no one right now. I trust nothing, no one, no one is safe until we get to the end of the book. Okay, so I'm in page 393, and obviously already everything has been going down. Aiden is off his mind. I don't know what's going on. Like, sometimes it even looks like he's kind of interested in Caddy. I, I don't, I don't get it. Like... Is she the special one? Why does he give her so much importance? And we still have no confirmation about Caddy's mother. Like she went to Bay 4 um, and we didn't find her. So is it possible that we will see her maybe hold up somewhere? Maybe there's still a possibility that she ran away, but I wouldn't count on that. Like I think it's pretty much set at this point that she didn't make it, that she probably died at the Copernicus. Now we're trying to find and save Ezra, and then I don't know how the hell we're going to get out of there. And then we have the whole situation with Ezra's mother, that right from the beginning I was a bit scared that it would turn into a divergent situation with the mom being estranged and being part of a resistance and being the bad guy so now we know that Ezra and his father were in Carenza to run away from her which makes me believe that she would probably belong to Baytag that is my idea right now that can only be the situation because I mean if she's crazy and she's a bad person it makes sense for her to be with what we consider to be the bad guys right now, so. What is happening? What is... She has been talking with Ezra, supposedly, all this time. Do you mean to tell me this whole time Aiden has been manipulating her into thinking that she was talking to Ezra, but in actuality, she hasn't been? And if so, where is Ezra? What do you mean? <laughs> Where's Ezra? When did Ezra stop being Ezra? Wait, 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 wait. Is it possible that Ezra is already in the Hypatia? Because there were a ton of military people who fled Alexander and went to the Hypatia. And we know that he wasn't in the people who were evicted, like launched into space. We know that. So is it possible that he is in the Hypatia, but he's stuck in quarantine on the other bay? Is it possible that you had him on your ship, but you fled because you were manipulated by a fucking artificial intelligence? Oh, God. Because obviously... <laughs> Just thinking about it now, obviously, <laughs> obviously, 
obviously it would have to be Aiden who did this. Like, there's no way that Ezra would be able to do that. He did a flower and he did a heart, but that is some advanced <laughs> picture making with words. So, oh, let's let's keep going because this is like the revelation part. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I've changed position because this is easier. I can use my hand to talk and obviously, obviously, this would happen. Obviously. She's asking about Ezra. Where is he? What do you mean he's dead? He's not dead. He is not dead, and I know this for a fact. He's not dead. Shut up. Can AI lie? Or is this another defection on Aiden's part because he's all over the place crazy? He's not well, naturally. So is this another point that <laughs> illustrates his craziness and how... Take it home, please. Is this another situation where we see him losing his mind? The fact that he's able to lie? And how is he able to lie? How does it make sense for him to be able to lie? <laughs> this is so bizarre. And it really makes you think like, is it possible that one day maybe Siri will have these capabilities of being able to lie to us? Oh no, 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 no. I am really, really impressed with the storytelling in this book. I think, to me at least, that's quintessential sci-fi, is having all of this situation going down and you have the machines and everything, but then our human side triumphs in a way. So, Caddy really personifies that for me in this story. The fact that she is going to die inevitably. The fact that the oxygen is down. The fact that her spaceship is falling apart. And she's like, no, but what can we do next? What's the next step? So I really, really value that. And it's a, a thing that I enjoy so much when I rarely read science fiction. But when I do, or when I watch science fiction movies, I really enjoy that our human side always shines in a different light and it's beautiful to see. So from what I understand, this has all been a compilation of what happened, but this has been done by Baytech's request, right? They were the ones who wanted all of this compiled and wanted to see every piece of document or information that was available out there. Why is Baytech in the middle of all this? Shouldn't this be public knowledge? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, what? <gasps> what? I was not expecting that. Oh my God. Oh, this is a great twist. So, Illuminae is catty. Caddy is the one who has compiled all of this for Baytech. Oh, I love this double twist. It's like, why do they have it? But that, no, they don't. I was right on two accounts. Oh, I'm so glad. Pat on the back. I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. So Caddy is the one behind all of this. I was right. Leanne Frobisher is Ezra's mother and Ezra's still alive. I was right. I was right. La la la. <laughs> Oh, I love that. That was great. <laughs> How is it possible that these characters spend no actual time together and we don't really get to see flashbacks or anything, but at least for me, that was the case. I was so invested in their relationship and them getting back together that is fascinating, isn't it? I really, really enjoyed this. I'm so glad I finally read it. I had a feeling I would enjoy it, but I'm so glad that that feeling came true. Oh my God. Yes, read this book if you haven't. I mean, if you haven't, 
you probably shouldn't be watching this video because I spoiled so much of it. The one thing I would have to say is that, how do I put this? Because of everything going on with coronavirus and everything, I'm not one of those people who really wants to read about pandemic books and pandemic situations. I want the escapism side of things. I would like to deal with it in real life, but escape from it in my hobbies. That being said, I loved it. I loved the writing, a book like I've never read before. I will obviously be buying the second book. I want to read it in a timely manner, but not like right the second. I, I can deal with a little bit of distance, especially knowing what's going down in terms of figuring out this disease. I'm hoping we find a cure. I don't really have predictions. I knew we would be battling Baytac, so we have that to look forward to. Obviously, there's going to be some confrontation between uh, Ezra and his mother. I'm hoping we get to see Caddy's father, maybe. And yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and watching me read Illuminae. I hope it was fun because, as you saw, I had a great time. So yeah, tell me down below in the comments if you've read this book, if you enjoyed it, what did you think? Tell me below and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>